In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the email editor. To begin, mouse over campaigns and select email campaigns. I'm going to close the calendar so we can focus on the email editor. Mouse over the email campaign options page menu and select manage email message templates. Here you'll see three groups of email templates. My email templates, which are your own personal email templates and only you can see. The group email message templates are for everyone who has access to your database and the global email message templates which are available system-wide. If you'd like to add an email template, select the Add Template menu. For this video, we're going to take a look at an existing template. I'm going to edit the newsletter template. Whether you're editing an existing template or adding a new template, this is what you'll see. Selecting email message templates will take you back to the list of email templates. Save As will allow you to make a copy of this email template. Sending a test email allows you to see what it's going to look like when it arrives in someone's inbox. Email templates can be either active or inactive. You have your choice of where you'd like to save this template. You can either save it in your personal folder or in the group folder. There may also be additional folders created for your work group. Every email template needs to have a name. Optionally, you can give it a description. You can insert merge fields into the subject by simply selecting and clicking Insert. You have your choice of either HTML or plain text. And you can specify the order that this shows up in your list of email templates. You can also insert merge fields into the body of the email, as well as custom forms. Now let's take a look at using the email editor to create your email. I like to expand the view. I do that by using the grow box in the lower right hand corner. Now I can see quite a bit more of it. The icons above the email are tools to help you make the email look the way you want. If you'll mouse over, you'll get an explanation of each one. Rather than go through each one individually, I'm going to show you some of the major tools that I use to create professional looking email templates. One of my favorite tools is the table tool and one that I typically begin with. It allows me to separate the email into individual boxes in rows and columns so that I can organize and present the information the way that I want. I can also set up padding around the entire table and cell spacing between the tables. I always set the alignment to center so that my message is in the middle of their window regardless of the size of their computer screen. I typically set the width around 6 or 800 pixels, but you can experiment to see what you prefer. The height I typically leave blank and just allow it to grow as needed. I typically don't use class or a table caption. The email that you see on the screen is actually a table and the content has been placed into individual cells. Here's the first cell. This row actually has two cells in it. Here's another one, another cell, another, and finally the last. Because I have two cells here, I might want to initially design this being two cells wide and then merge the rest of these cells. Or, I could start it one cell wide and split these. If I'd like to split a cell in two, all I have to do is right click on the cell, choose cell properties, and say split merge cells. Or if I'd like to combine two cells, all I have to do is highlight them, right click, choose cell, and say merge table cells, and it will merge those cells into one. To get content into the cells, all I do is click and begin typing. Now I can adjust the size of this, the font, and the style. I've centered the title. Now I can make the text below it left justified. To create a link, all I do is highlight what I'd like linked 
and click on the chain icon. This allows me to specify a URL. It should be fully qualified with the HTTP colon slash slash dub dub dub. One of the things I like to do is make sure that it opens in a new window when someone clicks on a link. The title is optional and click update. If you've entered a title when someone mouses over, they'll see the title. Let's clear out this image and subtitle so that I can show you how to get images into your newsletter. Begin by selecting where you'd like the image to go and then choose the image icon. Select it. Choose the file location. Browse to find the image. Once you've found the image, click Upload. Once your image is in there, you can then choose the alignment you'd like inside the cell. You can also add text. And once you've entered the text, you can choose the alignment and the font treatment that you'd like. You can also change the color of the text by highlighting it and choosing your text color. A couple of other tools you might be interested in. You can insert videos using this tool. You can insert or edit HTML using this tool. And you can paste from Word using this tool. You should never paste content directly from Word because Word adds a lot of HTML that may be incompatible with this editor. Let me illustrate. Here is a Word document with simply the letter A. I'm going to save that as an HTML document and then I'll open and view the source. Here is that same document that I saved using Word's Save as HTML. Let's take a look at the content of this page. This is all the HTML that was created for simply one character on that page. Needless to say, a normal size email might be 10 or 20 pages of HTML if generated by Word. By comparison, here's the HTML for this email. The rest of the tools are fairly self-explanatory. For example, if you want to enter a bulleted list, you can use this, or a numbered list, use this. If you would like to shift the contents left or right, this is to the right, this is to the left. These are the fundamental tools that are used to create professional-looking email templates. With a little experimentation, you'll become comfortable with all of the tools, and you'll be able to create your own professional-looking email templates. This concludes the video on email templates.